This is where 3D scanning actually saves you real money. My friend has a 2017 Porsche 911 Turbo S, and one of the rear air ducts on the quarter panel is just gone. Either it flew off or someone took it. Porsche wants around $2,000 to replace it for a single plastic duct. Crazy. Instead, I use the Creality Otter Scanner because the other side of the car is still intact. We can reverse engineer it. I took that original part, prepped it properly, and scanned it. Since this is an automotive part with reflective plastic, we need to use a scanning spray and reference markers to get an accurate capture. This is to get rid of that reflective glare and to give the scanner something to follow. Then we do two scans, one of the front and one on the back and merge them together inside Creality software. Once we have a clean model, we simply mirror it to create the missing side and clean it up a bit. Before committing to the final material, I test printed the part in PLA just to verify fitment and because it's cheaper. Once that's perfect, we can print the final versions in ASA, which is ideal for automotive use because it's heat resistant, UV stable, and designed for outdoor environments. At that point, we might as well print both sides and have a matching set because the work is already done. But if you really want it to look like a factory part, you need to take it a step further. I sanded it down with 320 grit sandpaper, applied Bondo glazing putty to fill any layer lines, sanded it again, and then hit it with Napa's 2K automotive primer, the real stuff that actually hardens. Then one final sanding is left, and you can either spray the base coat and 2K gloss yourself, or because I'm no professional and this part isn't forgiving, you can just drop it off at a body shop and for about a hundred bucks, get a flawless paint match. I mean, come on, look at it. Can you tell which one's from Porsche and which two I 3D printed? And the time has come that we've all been waiting for. It's officially time to install the part on the car and see if everything fits. Will the clips line up? Will everything fit correctly? It all comes down to this. And it fits perfect. A factory look and thousands of dollars saved. The Creality Otter Scanner makes this kind of project possible for anyone. DIYers, weekend warriors, car enthusiasts, this thing lets you recreate parts you literally cannot justify buying new. I'm actually blown away myself. So the question isn't, can you do this? It's, why wouldn't you? 